Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, today we have a new test. Keep one thing in your mind that I am solving such questions because students are asking to solve these questions. They are finding these questions difficult. So if you have some difficult questions, you can ask from me. If a raindrop with a mass of 0.03 gram, mass is 0.03 gram of the raindrop falls with constant velocity it is moving towards the ground with constant velocity okay the retarding force of atmospheric friction is we have to find out the retarding force which will act in the upward direction in the opposite direction to the motion of the raindrop we can neglect density of air so then it becomes very easy when a raindrop or any object falls with constant velocity means what that the weight of the body weight of the object and the retarding force are equal so in this case f is equals to w and w is mg m is how much 0.03 gram when we reach over here we can find out that if we convert it into kilogram we have to divide it by 1000 when we divide it by 1000 we won't get either this result or this result by multiplying it with 9.8 or 10 so means what the answer will come out in dyne so as dyne is in the cgs system so i will write over here the gravitational acceleration in cgs system which is 980 so i will get this result point removed 100 over here zero cancels with zero this is 2 5 the 10 and this is 49 49 into 3 first find 49 into 3 in 147 divided by 5 5 to the 10 47 5 9 the 45 2 0 with decimal point 5 4 the so the answer is 29.4 dime okay move to the next one a 1.75 meter height weight lifter the height of the weight lifter is this much 1.75 meter okay raises weights with a mass of 70 kilogram mass of the weight is 70 kg to a height of 0.3 meter above his head this is the head so this is 0.3 meter so actually he raises the weight at a total of 1.75 plus 0.3 this will be 2.05 meters okay this is the height how much work is being done by him w is needed g is given as 10 meter per second so what we have to find is work done in raising the weight w is equals to mgh w is equals to m is 70 g is 10 h is 2.05 so w is equals to remove this decimal we'll get 100 0 cancels with 10 and this 10 was a 10 10 7 is a 70 so we have to multiply 2.05 uh, 205 with 7 7 5 the 35 and 2 7 the 40 so 1435 joule is the correct answer move to the next one a man carrying 25 kg weight so mass is 25 kg climbs 8 meter from x to y on a plane inclined at 30 degree so let's suppose this is point x it has to move on an inclined plane which is making angle of 30 degree with the horizontal so here we have what this could be point y this becomes a triangle this point y is 8 meter from x so this is 8 meter find work done to place the weight at y the person has to move the weight from x to y at this path okay so when he will move over this path the weight will have two components one component will be 
perpendicular to the surface and other one uh, will be parallel to the surface okay so we have to find out the perpendicular one because horizontal has no role in it for that we have to find out this line this triangle right angle triangle we know that sin theta equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse so in this case sin 30 degree hypotenuse is how much this one hypotenuse x to y this is 8 meter equals to p and p is this perpendicular so p is sin 30 degree is 1 upon 2 into 8 meter equals to 4 meter this is the height this is height okay so we have to find out w w is equals to mgh m is how much 25 g is 9.8 and h is 4 so this will be how much 25 into 4 is 100 and 100 into 9.8 will be 980 joules this is your answer move to the next one a body is moving in a circle with increasing angular velocity okay at time t is equal to 6 seconds this is the first variable the angular velocity is 27 radian per second omega is 27 radian per second what is the radius of the circle we have to find out the radius where linear velocity is 81 centimeter per second so this is just a tricky problem in which they have given this statement to confuse you people this has nothing to do with the calculation only you need this and this to solve the problem why because we know that the relation between v and omega is v is equals to r omega we have to find out r so r will become equals to v over omega r should be v is how much v is 81 centimeter per second and omega is 27 radian per second we didn't change this centimeter into meter why because all the options are given in centimeters that's why i didn't change it so r will become equals to 27 27 27 3 is 81 so 3 centimeter will be the correct answer okay take care thank you we'll meet with the next test